Hi everyone. How's it going today? I hope you're all doing well and feeling good. It's always a pleasure to have you with me on my channel. As usual, I will discuss some topics that you might like. I understand that the quality of this video might not be the best, but I hope that the content is still understandable and informative. If you're interested in learning more, I also have a Telegram channel where I share various information that I can't post here. And make sure to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel in case of unforeseen events. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Back in March of 2015, everyone on the internet was talking about this weird picture that popped up on social media and some spooky websites. It looked like two ginormous human skulls that had been uncovered by heavy rain in a little town called Sierra de Tapalapa, down in Mexico. Based on the people standing near the skulls, it seemed like they belonged to humans who were almost 20 feet tall. People were freaking out about it and it got shared and liked like crazy. But eventually, the internet came together to solve the mystery. Turns out, back in October 2008, there was a contest on a website called worth1000.com, where artists made fake pictures of crazy archaeological finds. And one of the top 10 was this picture of rural Mexicans finding giant skulls. The artist who made it goes by the name Year of the Dragon, and he's a single dad who does illustrations for money. Some people believed the picture was real, but others pointed out that there are actual accounts and evidence that suggests Mexico was once home to a bunch of giant people. When the Spanish first came to Mexico, they kept hearing stories about giants from all over the place, from the Baja Peninsula, up north to the Maya regions in the south and east. Some researchers even think they've found proof that the Spanish actually met some of these giants based on diary entries and writings from the first people who made contact with the ancient Mexican civilizations. The stories the Spanish heard were kind of like the ones from the Bible, where there were giants walking around the earth with regular people. The giants were supposed to have built all kinds of things that were left behind by previous civilizations, and this idea was pretty common all over the New World. In central Mexico, the people believed in giants so much that they named their capital city Tenochtitlan after a giant named Tenoch, who was part of a whole race of giants called the Quinemetzin. Some people think that Quinemetzin means the old ones, but really it means giant people. At the beginning of the Aztec fifth sun, which is like the time we're living in now, there were four giants holding up the sky. Their names were Cuauhtemoc, Izcatl, Ixcacli, and Tenexich. The Mixteca people were supposedly descended from a giant named Mixtecatl, who was part of the Quinemetzin. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. Like we talked about earlier, the ancient Mexicans thought that giants were behind the creation of huge ruins that nobody could explain. The Aztecs believed that giants helped build their capital city of Tula, and the Teotihuacan city with its massive pyramids and wide roads, was also supposedly built by giants. Zelhua, a member of the Quinemetzin tribe who was 20 feet tall, was said to have built the Great Pyramid at Chalula, which is the biggest pyramid in the world. He was also thought to have founded seven cities in central Mexico. On the other hand, the Maya didn't think there was a race of giant humans before them, but they did have the Chacab, a group of demigods who would take the form of dwarves or giants to serve the god Chac. Some experts say that murals, carvings, and other works of art from the Maya civilization show bigger humans, but according to the mainstream archaeologists, this probably had more to do with social status than any belief in actual giants. Still, even as recently as the late 1600s, Jesuit missionaries in Baja California were hearing stories from the Kachimi people that giant creatures created the rock wall art way up on the cliff surfaces in the mountains. A lot of people who study giants say there are real records from after the Spanish took over Mexico that talk about bigger than usual humans. They say the Spanish met some of these giant tribes all over the place, and they point to stuff written in the 16th century to back it up. 
One example is a book called Decades, written by an Italian guy who was hired by Charles V to write a history of New Spain. It was published in the 1520s. Here we have an updated version in English about conquistador Diego de Ordes and his discovery of what appears to be the remains of giants. Quote, I wish to end this chapter with a gigantic story, which, like the formidable Atlas, comes to support my claims. Diego de Ordes, whom I have before mentioned, knew many hidden places in those lands, especially in the land of Cacao, where he learned to plant and grow the tree of money, as I have explained on that occasion. He found in the vault of a temple the thigh bone of a giant, worn and nearly destroyed by age. The licentiate Aelin, one of the most learned jurists in Hispaniola, brought this bone to the city of Victoria a short time after your holiness left for Rome. For some days I had that bone in my home, it measured five palms in length, and its width in proportion. Those who were afterward sent by Cortes into the mountains of the south returned, saying that they had discovered a country inhabited by giants, in proof of this claim, it is said that they brought back many ribs of the dead. End quote. Another story of the remains of giants being found in Mexico comes from a Spanish source from the late 16th century, a book titled The Natural and Moral History of the Indies, by Jose de Acosta. Acosta writes, quote, When I was in Mexico, in the year of our Lord 1586, they found one of those giants buried in one of our farms, which we call Jesus del Monte, of whom they brought a tooth to be seen, which, without augmenting, was as big as the fist of a man, and, according to this, all the rest was proportionate, which I saw and admired at his deformed greatness. End quote. The true history of the conquest of New Spain by Bernal Diaz, written around 1570, is one of the most read books on the topic of the Spanish conquest of Mexico and early colonial life in New Spain. It also has a passage referring to giants in Chapter 78, in which conquistador Hernan Cortes is asking local kings about the history of their kingdoms. Here is the 1844 English translation of the passage by John Ingram Lockhart. Quote, our friends told us how and whence they came into this country, and how they had settled themselves there. How it came that, notwithstanding their vicinity to the Mexicans, they resembled each other so little, and lived in perpetual warfare with each other. The tradition was also handed down from their forefathers, that in ancient times, there lived here a race of men and women, who were of immense stature with heavy bones, and were a very bad and evil disposed people, whom they had for the greater part exterminated by continual war, and the few that were left gradually died away. In order to give us a notion of the huge frame of this people, they dragged forth a bone, or rather a thigh bone, of one of those giants, which was very strong, and measured the length of a man of good stature. This bone was still entire from the knee to the hip joint. I measured it by my own person, and found it to be of my own length, although I am a man of considerable height. They showed us many similar pieces of bones, but they were all worm-eaten and decayed. We, however, did not doubt for an instant that this country was once inhabited by giants. Cortes observed that we ought to forward these bones to His Majesty in Spain by the very first opportunity. End quote. Some folks who are into studying giants think that the Spanish found evidence of a huge human race back in the day. They say there are old stories about Spanish explorers coming across giant bones and stuff in Mexico. But mainstream archaeologists say that these stories are just myths, and that the bones were actually from giant animals like mastodons and giant sloths. Scientists want to see the remains before they believe it. But, many researchers think that the government and big universities have covered up the evidence of giants for years. What do you think? Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.